Demographic change nowadays, besides of climate change, is one of the most important issues in Central Europe. The results of these pilot actions were brought in into the so-called European strategy for regional responses on demographic change. And this European strategy will set up really impressive recommendations in different fields of infrastructure, for example, in the, in the field of healthcare, in the field of transport and mobility, in the field of social care. It should be acknowledged that different pace and extent of shrinkage is mixed in regions, in research, in policy, and we have to pay attention to such differences. There is a need of paradigm shift from fighting the demographic change to adaptation to demographic change, because some demographic trends, as we have seen, cannot be reversed in short period of time and should be taken as they are. I think we should uh, not only discuss the problem in terms of costs, but we also should see a certain chance for the future in developing a so-called silver economy. Intergenerationality, that has a lot of advantages with the common infrastructure use that could save a lot of money and that's uh, an important issue for, for our project as well. One of the conclusions I think of the whole project is that uh, demographic change may, may uh, need a change in the approach of spatial planning, urban planning, the way we think about our settlements. I would say that everyone agrees that the complexity of challenges, environmental, social, economic, demographic, can only be handled in an integrated way. The provisions of the European strategy that we develop within the project are transferable to different uh, regions in the EU member states.